Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to discuss this topic. Why LFPR for females is low in India? So recently, the results of uh, periodic labor force survey, PLFS, of 2020-21 have been released by the government of India. Periodic labor force survey. This labor force survey talks about employment and employment status in our country. And this survey is prepared by, you know, MOSPI, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. And according to this survey, LFPR for females is low in our country, age compared to what is there for males. So, age per this survey, uh, LFPR for males is around 57%, while it is uh, only 25% for women. So, we need to understand what is this LFPR and uh, what are the reasons for low LFPR for females in our country. Friends, you must understand that if females are having low labor force participation rate, then it is not having only the impact on their economic empowerment, but it is also having an impact on our GDP. And if I am to go by a research paper written by Christine Lagarde, Christine Lagarde was the former managing director of International Monetary Fund. She wrote a research paper in 2018 with one uh, you know, partner, and in that research, she said that if countries like India, if they make LFPR for females equal to the LFPR for males, then their GDP can increase. For India, she said that India's GDP can increase by 27 percent if if India's do or if India go for just making equality between uh, LFPR for females and LFPR for males. Just India is to do what like? Just India is to create equality in LFPR. By doing that only, India will be able to increase its GDP by 27%. So from all these points of view, from economic empowerment point of view, from social justice point of view, from increasing the GDP of the country's point of view, this LFPR topic is hugely important for men's as well as PT. So before I go deeper into this topic, let me explain you what is LFPR. So LFPR means the labor force, labor force participation rate. Labor force participation rate, LFPR is this. So how to calculate labor force participation rate? So it is seen per 100 of population. And when you choose these 100 people on an average per 100 of population, you are to see this is 15 to 59 years. In studying this LFPR, you are not to include all the people. You are to include only those people who are belonging to working age, 15 to 59 years is working age. Then you are to see out of these 100 people, how many people are working. So you are to see how many people are working. Working. And you are to add these working people into those people who are not working, who are not working, but want to work, means they are presenting themselves for the job, but they are not able to find out the job due to various factors. So, when you will calculate labor force participation rate, you have to see two sorts of people out of every hundred people of population working, how many people are working and how many people are not working but they are interested to work. If you make the total of these two, 
then this is called labor force participation rate. According to periodic labor force survey of uh, 2020-21, this labor force participation rate is 25.1 something for the woman. So it is quite low, means if you add up working females and non-working but who are interested to work, then out of every 100 women in our country, in the age bracket of 15 to 59 years, only 25 females or women are either working or they want to work, right? And uh, this is quite low ratio. If you see males in our country, this ratio is around 57%. So it is quite low labor force participation rate for females in our country. So we need to improve this and recently, uh, Honorable Prime Minister sir also said that we should develop the gig economy in our country uh, and this gig economy is quite important for you know women's participation in labor force and in my previous video which was about gig economy I referred to this thing uh, right so you can watch that video also friends if you want to get more detail about what we are teaching in the class what we are you know um, telling in the video if you want that in your in writing way then you need you need to go to our website that is Rameshwar's IES website and uh, you will be finding an icon there in the name of knowledge store so you have to click knowledge store then you will be able to find out multiple articles right and we are trying to put videos on on all these topics right so we are working hard for that so that people can get more and more idea about what is going on in our economy. So this is right. Now World Bank also, World Bank released a report in 2010, uh, systematic, systematic country diagnostic on India. In that report also World Bank said that uh, the lower LFPR for females in India is, uh, is not good thing for women empowerment. So let us understand what are the responsible factors for lower LFPR for females in our country. I am using economic survey of 2018-19 plus World Bank's report and some other you know inputs to uh, give you the proper idea about why labor force participation rate for female in our country is low. We can divide the factors into two parts, demand side factors and the supply side factors. So let me first come on supply side factors right so what are supply side factors by that i mean to say what are the reasons which are you know impacting the supply of women in the labor force so there are multiple reasons like first reason is what it has been found that in young females in our country the tendency towards getting more education is increasing. Uh, for example, if you ask uh, many uh, young females that whether they are ready to work for any job, then they are mostly, they are saying that they want to get more education, right? So they are not interested to participate in the labor force. They are not presenting themselves for, uh, for the work or any job. So this is also one reason, right? young females are having more tendency towards education. So you can say young females tendency towards getting education. I'm writing first, I'm just giving you the idea, right? Uh, this is one reason. Another reason is what like Manrega scheme, you might have heard about the Manrega scheme. Uh, there is a research which says that uh, after the implementation of Manrega scheme, uh, like MGNREGA, the income of the rural families uh, has got increased and uh, there are various research which say that uh, if family income increases, then uh, females tend to get out from the labor force. They, they say, they think that their family is getting good income, so why they need to work, right? 
So this tendency is also a responsible factor why females are not supplying themselves in the labor force, right? So Manrega's income effect, young females tendency towards getting more education. Third factor is, you know, uh, third supply side factor is social constraints. Uh, in our society, uh, typical conservative Indian society, it is thought that why females should go out from their home to uh, work, right? So they take it, you know, something like a negative phenomena. So this is also a point why females labor force participation rate is lower in our country. And uh, another fourth factor is their role in care economy. Females look after their family, right? They, they are more responsible for such type of activities like uh, looking after kids, their husbands and other family members. So they are engaged in care economy. You can say they are having more social responsibilities. Because of this also, this, uh, the supply of females in labor force is uh, declining or it is having low level in our country. These are the supply factors, friends. And if you see demand side factors, so what are demand side factors? So one of the important demand side factor is uh, lack of regular part-time jobs. Regular part-time jobs. Females need regular and part-time jobs. Why? Because why part-time? Part-time because they are having family responsibilities. So according to their timings, right, they want to get work, right, so that they can discharge the family responsibilities. From that point of view, friends, I said in my previous video on gig economy that women need flexibility in employment and gig economy provides flexibility in employment. You can choose your own time and gig employment is some sort of self-employment. So there is nothing like both subordinate relationship in gig economy. So Honorable Prime Minister sir also said that for females in our country, gig economy can play a very good role. So lack of regular part-time jobs is one of the reasons in demand side factors. Second is, you know, gender wage gap. According to Economic Survey 2018-19, gender gap, wage gap is also responsible. In most of the countries, we see that females are given less salary as compared to males. Females are given less wages as compared to males. This discourages women to participate in labor force. So this is again a demand side factor. Third point like higher mechanization of agriculture. Higher mechanization of agriculture. So due to more and more role of machines, female do participate uh, usually in agriculture, but if you employ more of machines, then there is less role of, you know, female, females. So this is also one factor. And there is another fourth factor, that is the withdrawal of uh, males from agriculture in rural areas and their joining construction works in nearby city areas. Most of the people in rural areas presently, because we see labor surplus in rural areas and farmlands are quite smaller. So they are not able to give that much level of income by which they can sustain their family. So there are various males which are withdrawing from agriculture and they are moving to nearby cities to work in construction lines. And it has been seen that in our country, females work with males in agriculture. So if males are withdrawing, females are also withdrawing from agriculture. Such are the factors, friends, which are responsible for why we see declining labor force participation rate in females in our country. So thank you, friends. Let us meet in the next video with a new good topic. Thank you very much.